O oh my strength, I watch for you. You, O oh God, are my fortress, my loving God. I will sing of your strength. In the morning I will sing of your love, for you are my fortress, my refuge in times of trouble. O oh my strength, I sing praise to you. You, O oh God, are my fortress, my loving God. Heavenly Father, it can be difficult to understand why there must be suffering in this world. But for your servants, it is for your glory that we are afflicted. It is in the furnace of affliction that your promises shine the brightest. How dark that cloud was that loomed over your disciples those days before your resurrection, when they were locked away in fear and doubt. And how ominous the cloud of despair that hovers over so many of your children today, Lord. Our trials have hindered our worship. We have surrendered our high view of you on the altar of our pain. At the root of all our problems is the sin of unbelief. Unbelief is not a mental thing, it is a moral thing, and your body is growing weak and feeble because we don't know you as we should. Does your word not say that nothing is impossible with God, and that we can do everything through Christ who gives us strength? When did we forget your promises? God is not a man that he should lie, nor a son of man that he should change his mind. Does he speak and then not act? Does he promise and not fulfill? When did the voice of the enemy win our hearts and rule our thought life? Lord, come in and purify our hearts and reform our way of thinking about you. Restore us to the joy of our salvation. Help us to trust you for the means you will use to bring us to that place of surrender where you can remedy our broken hearts. We need to be still and know that you are God. Lord, do not let these present trials cloud the vision of your people. So many have become earth dwellers. They have pitched their tents and are grounded in their pain, and they can't rise above their sorrow and grief. They have lost touch with the heavenly life. Lord, the darkness is consuming them and holding them captive, and they're losing the will to fight. They've fallen into that dark hole of despair and can't find their way out. Your children cannot do it on their own, but then you never intended for them to do it in their own strength. You want to show yourself mighty on their behalf. Help them to surrender to your will. Give them courage to release their grasp on their bitterness, anger, and grief, and let go, because underneath are the everlasting arms. Lord, those of us who are stronger in this season stand in the gap for those who are suffering, and we fervently pray that you would send forth the light of your word and lift them out of the pit and set them in the heavenly places with you. We have hope because you have rescued us and delivered us from that deep pit of despair. We live in the present reality of the glory that is on the other side of that dark valley of the shadow of death. Give to our brothers and sisters a glimpse of your glory to sustain them and your word of hope to encourage them in this desperate hour until the appointed time when your light will break forth like the dawn and the sun of righteousness will rise with healing on its wings and mend their wounded hearts. Speak comfort to your people. The Lord your God is with you. He is mighty to save. He will take great delight in you. He will quiet you with his love. He will rejoice over you with singing. Their voices are parched and they have no song to sing. Sing your song of peace over them, Lord Jesus, for you satisfy the thirsty and fill the hungry with good things. You still the storm to a whisper. You heal the brokenhearted and bind up their wounds. How grateful we are for your faithfulness and compassion. Your love never fails. You are always with us. You never leave us and you never forsake us. You are in us. We live because you live. When we are paralyzed in fear or unbelief, you come to us and you breathe your life into us. Be the lifter of the head of those whose hearts are laid low because of their affliction. Lift up your heads, O you gates. Be lifted up, you ancient doors, that the King of glory may come in. Who is this King of glory? The Lord strong and mighty, the Lord mighty in battle. Come in and take full possession of your people, Lord. 
we glorify your name and sing this anthem of praise. For Jesus hath cheered the dark valley of sorrow and bade us immortal to heaven ascend. Lift then your voices in triumph on high, for Jesus hath risen and man shall not die. We praise you for the hope we have in you, Lord Jesus. Amen.